Hi, I'm Heather reporting for Kids First, and today I have the pleasure to talk with writer, composer, and director Christina Yorgio, who is best known for her work on Smack and Come Out of Your Head. Now, let's talk to her about her newest film, The Stray Story, a documentary. Hi, Christina. It's so nice Hello. to meet you. Hello from Cyprus. I'm very happy to meet you, too. So let's get right into it. The Stray Story is a very powerful movie with an amazing message about stray animals. What made you want to work on this film about stray dogs in this country? Uh, basically, I had started doing volunteer work myself. And once I realized how difficult it is uh, for, for people who are rescuing animals and, and how the problem actually starts from people not being aware of uh, how big it is, how, the, how big the problem is, and how unintentionally they cause a problem, uh, I thought that maybe the best way to help would be to make a documentary about it so that I can raise awareness about it. And that's how it all began. That's incredible. I mean, like you had like this preamble. So you're noticing problems all around the world. What do you suggest that us as a society, we can do to be more aware to like stop this population from growing, especially like you said, that most of us are unaware? Well, there are many things that we can all do. Uh, and they are suggested in the documentary itself. Uh, but I would probably stand on a responsible guardianship, if we want to call it that. And we don't call it ownership because animals are not, you know, um, property. So uh, starting from that, uh, the whole mentality of people will change because once we acknowledge that uh, animals are sentient beings, it means that we need to treat them differently and they've got rights and uh, we need to uh, be able to give them a, a quality of life. Uh, and from that stem everything else. So as long as we respect animals, uh, then everything else will follow. That's, that's interesting because I think us as a society, we don't really notice what we're doing. And it's true, it's guardianship, it's not ownership. And once we actually get this relationship that we get to develop, we take a lot good care of our animals. So you got to talk to some amazing advocates for this cause. Did they teach you anything that you didn't know before working on this film? Oh, they taught me a lot of things. I don't know where to begin. Uh, what they basically taught me um, in terms of emotional intelligence, I would say, is um, persistence and uh, never giving up <laughs> and trying to stay positive even in the darkest moments because they do get a lot of darkness. So for me, that was the biggest lesson I've learned um, in terms of practical uh, issues um, on the topic. It was um, a variety of information regarding the specificities of the problem for each country, because the documentary takes place in four or five different countries. Um, so it uh, presents the problem from different angles, and we get to understand how our consumerism, how our greed, how our lack of awareness and other uh, factors can play a part in this problem. It's actually really beautiful how you mentioned that, how in this sort of problem of stray animals, we touch on so many other individual problems that from watching the stray story, we can take and use it in a bunch of our different aspects of life. Uh, you mentioned that you worked on four and five different countries. What was that like? Just like going and traveling, learning from so many different people. And then finally, after you were done making this film, how did all those experiences impact you? It was, it was an amazing experience. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it was also very difficult uh, and quite uh, risky at some points. For instance, in Romania, uh, there's a lot of corruption and uh, it has found its way into how uh, stray animals are handled. So doing research in a country like that had some dangers uh, involved. Uh, so essentially, 
that was Romania. Greece was very interesting in terms of, of our volunteer there who had given up everything to, to look after dogs. That was also thrilling. And, you know, all these people um, that you admire from afar opened up their hearts and let me in their homes. And it was very touching. And actually, uh, the uh, volunteer from, from Florida, Norma Torres, who is going to be uh, present at the screening on Saturday the 20th, um, has become a really good friend of mine at this point. Uh, there's maybe I talk to her every other day. <laughs> so it has been a, a really rewarding and warm experience in all aspects. It's incredible. Like this, this movie is, is so impactful, especially for you because you're the writer, the composer and the director. And then being able to go all around the world, just studying this cause and then raising awareness to it. I just want to speak on your part and your, this this whole idea of this movie how do you feel putting your heart and soul into a documentary and especially handling being the writer the creator the director and then the the composer how did you feel just like looking back on it and how is it like working and managing all these different jobs and schedules well it it was i mean looking back it could have been overwhelming because it took many many years i also produced the documentary so I had to do everything and put everything together. And it's not like that I like doing everything. I just had to because uh, of lack of funds. As you know, these topics don't really get much funding. And if people want to help animals, they believe that um, giving money to um, charities is a better way to help than help raise awareness, which is not exactly right. Uh, getting awareness out there is an important factor in changing uh, the life of animals. So yeah, it, I've done a PhD and that took me six years, this took me seven. <laughs> so I think that in itself uh, kind of explains um, how long and how challenging it was. But I've learned a lot from it and I've enjoyed the process. I've, I think I've become a richer person because of that in terms of emotional uh, intelligence and uh, awareness yeah it's crazy how seven years of a movie just keeping your heart and soul into it so the movie is actually releasing it's showing at the Fort Lauderdale Film Festival throughout the years you've already gotten some crit critical reviews which are great everyone's loving it I'm seeing it on IMDb I'm seeing it on everywhere that people are loving this movie how does that make you feel especially on a movie that you did it all by yourself and then you had to like how you were saying it was it was a cause that isn't getting much attention right now just to see how audiences are coming out and just realizing we have a problem it, it's very touching uh, to see people coming to me and telling me that uh, they didn't know about many of these things. Even people who, who love their animals and are aware that there is a problem, they didn't know how it's caused and what they can do and so on. So it was very touching to have people come to me and, and thank me for, for doing that. Um, there have also been cases where people were deeply moved by the work that all these volunteers are doing. Um, and the whole purpose of the documentary was exactly that, not to make people feel bad, not to criticize anybody or judge anybody, but inspire them through showing them what other people are doing and how difficult that can be, but also how rewarding it can be. So that was the main idea. You actually just raised an amazing point. I think with a lot of documentaries about issues and topics like this, we the audience sort of feels taken aback just because it does come off as a criticism. So the stray story really does inspire us. It brings us all together. It makes us aware of problems that we didn't know we had and that it can connect to so many of us animal uh, guardianships who like people who own animals and people who don't it just it really inspires us to want to work to this cause especially one that doesn't really get as much attention as it should so I just want to thank you so much I your movie is remarkable I'm so happy that I was able to watch and to able to talk to you thank you so much for this amazing experience congratulations on the release of the stray story a documentary which is releasing this month at the Fort Lauderdale 
Film Festival. I'm Heather reporting for Kids First. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to get all of our newest reviews and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!